Hi everyone, welcome to Popular Airsoft and this is your Master Chief and today we are going to be looking at the Tokyo Marui M4MWS. Um, it has taken Tokyo Marui such a long time to um, release this uh, M4GBB version of theirs and um, what they've done is they've developed a new system which they call the Z system um, which roughly um, makes it more durable than other um, M4 GBBs that are currently available out um, in the airsoft market today. Um, what they have is they have like shock absorbers for the bolt and they've, they have rollers which we are going to have a um, closer look later on uh, which makes the travel of that bolt in there a lot smoother and therefore prolong, hopefully prolonging its life. Um, it is a very solid uh, rifle. Um, the only thing is, um, what's special about it? It's an M4, M4 GBB, and that is it. Um, it has a bonus um, RAS uh, rail system um, that token we have plainly attached in there. Um, also, if you're going to look closely in through that, they even added a heat shield to it. Um, to add a more realistic looking M4. Um, it is full metal, the only plastic bits are your adjustable butt stock and the pistol grip. And obviously, um, the diameter of the pistol grip is quite nice, it's quite it has a nice feel um, in the hand, um, mainly because it is a lot smaller than the AEGs uh, because there's no motor in there. Okay. Uh, markings, um, you have markings all along the spine of the rail system there in all um, sides. Um, also you have cold markings which are very typical of Tokyo Marui. And, <clears throat> and that's it really. Um, okay, if we turn it back around again you'll see the um, fire selector switch cycles very nicely along along there and um, there's no wobbles in it it's it's solidly attached to the firearm so it shouldn't drop or anything like that that easily um, i don't think so it does have a working bolt um, bolt catch so when you're the magazine is empty, just push that to recharge it, off you go to fire. Um, at the front, you have your standard M4 front sight, but at the back, Tokimuri have added a nice battle sight, rear battle sight, um, which folds down quite easily, um, so you don't have to take it off when you want to attach any optics in there on the, on, on the top rail. Um, okay, cocking or charging it, just basically pull the cocking handle and release it back. It does have a weird sound when you, when you pull it and pull it back. It has, um, that is because um, it has a, a plastic nozzle in there, so it makes a bit of a um, sucking it's like a sucking sound when you pull it um also what causes that sound is if you look closely as i pull this it goes on a two-stage motion and the front cover will retract first leaving the the bolt inside and then i should pull it all across the the second motion will just pull the um the bolt back okay apparently that is um to reduce gas escape from um, from the side, um, so hopefully all the gas will be behind the BB as it pushes it across, um, giving it a fairly more um, more power behind behind the BB. Um, um, so what else? Um, this assembly is quite easy. So just push this rear body pin out easily with your fingers okay just pull it out 
all the way you won't lose it because it stays in place and then give it a bit of a whack at the bottom and it just splits in, in half and that is the lower part of the firing mechanism as you can see there there that is where the rollers are that i've mentioned earlier also if i pull the ball out you would see that on the underside of the bolt you also have this roller so in theory this roller and that roller there should smoothen the travel of this bolt as it cycles through um, when you fire the rifle um, it does have a hard kick on it when you fire it which is quite nice um, okay let me put it back I said to put it back together basically you have your charging handle just pull it out uh, you have this latch here so that, that is where basically that is where um, the charging handle catches the ball and then just slowly thread it back in all the way in and then you could assist it by pushing this spring-loaded locking system here just behind it there you go and then make sure it's on properly and then just simply push this pin back in there yes, sir okay so now we're ready so as you can see it's all ready to fire again um magazine um you know similar to the recoil um right ag rifles that we have there you can only use this magazine um to this rifle so you can't use any other aftermarket yet aftermarket um magazines yet um so um here in the uk i think they cost about 40 quid uh, 40 pounds to buy uh, just a magazine um it does take a lot of um gas and the advice of tokamori as usual with all of their um gas blowbacks is to use uh, green gas on all of them okay that, this is charged so i'm just gonna push it in okay the magazine as you can see it fits really nicely there's no wobble or anything into it um it does add a lot of weight as well to the rifle once it's there so shouldering it is quite nice um once the magazine's there um it does give a good balance as well to the rifle there you go all right okay now i'm gonna take this and take this away and i'm just gonna set up my chrono and i'll be back in a few seconds just to um um and we'll see how much it will chrono on um i'm using the super power green gas um it is i'm indoors at the moment so it's probably close to 20 degrees celsius in here it's uh i think I, it's about 12 or 13 outside um it shouldn't have an effect inside here so we should be able to get some good chrono readings and we'll see if i can just test fire it and we'll see how that bolt cycles in there on full auto um, okay so give me two seconds and i'll be right back with the chrono okay guys here we go sonos all set flicking the rifle into semi-auto first shot 315 second shot 344 296 322 
Okay. Ah, okay, there you go. Um, surprisingly, with the green gas that I use, the rifle averaged, you know, above um, 300 FPS, which is quite surprising, but in a good way. Um, okay, I have removed all the BBs on the mag and I've recharged it. And we'll see how it cycles through, how smooth it cycles through. Okay, so it has, it is cocked. As far as I know, switching it to full auto. Okay, there you go. As you can see, it does have a good hard kick, so you, you could you could really feel that on your shoulder. Um, and as I said, this inside temperature is probably around in the twenties. Um, 0.2 BBs firing at you know above 300 it's a big bonus from TM so that's quite good so there you go until next time I will post another performance video when I've taken this um, rifle out in the skirmish field and hopefully it will give us a good performance so there you go until next time this is Master Chief from Pueblo Airsoft have a good day